explaining F1's new video assistant referee system in 2022. Formula One for this year has a new review system in place after all the craziness that happened during the 2021 F1 season. It's called the ROC, Remote Operations Centre. You may have heard it proposed as virtual race control previously, but they've stuck with the former, even though I think the VRC definitely sounds cooler. In a nutshell, they've created a dedicated hub away from race control at the track in order to support them with the decisions they make. The Remote Operations Centre is based at the FIA headquarters in Geneva. They are simply there to assist the race direction team with procedural and regulatory matters. In essence, the main purpose of this hub is to take pressure off of the race directors and their team who will be dealing with more urgent matters at the track. Let me give you an example of where it will be useful. Sergio Perez last year crashed on his way to the grid for the 2021 Belgian Grand Prix. I'm sorry to bring up that horrible rainy day again. And his car had to be recovered back to the pit lane. Usually, this would be game over because the race would start not that long after. But because of the start being delayed over and over again, Red Bull had time to repair the car. There was an awkward line of communication between Red Bull and Michael Massey where initially Massey had said that Sergio could not take the restart before changing his mind when challenged about it. This sort of task could be referred to the personnel out in Geneva to figure out whilst the race director works on more pressing issues. This new review system has been likened to the Video Assistant Referee or VAR for short in football. How their process works is as follows. Step 1. After the incident takes place, the referee can inform VAR to take a look at it or VAR can recommend that it should be reviewed. Step 2. The video is then studied by VAR who then can suggest to the referee that they take a closer look. Step 3. The referee then can view the footage at the side of the pitch and decide the appropriate course of action. We aren't going to get something as dramatic as the race director walking up to a video screen in the middle of the pit lane, although now I say that, can you imagine how much Drive to Survive would slow-mo that walk up to the screen? Now, while the operations center can act as a supporting resource with huge amounts of data and over 140 video and audio sources to analyze, they cannot interfere with what actually happens. It does not have any regulatory power and also cannot be used to go back to an earlier decision to review and or change the outcome. It's very much a sea of information that can be tapped into if the race direction team need it, not to undermine the decisions that are already made by saying, yeah, but have you seen this video? It's important to clarify that. One final thing, the ROC is also going to be used as a training tool for the next generation of stewards and race control staff. It will also be rolled out to other FIA championships in the future, so hopefully this will be a great tool moving forward and can improve the overall consistency of decisions in motorsport as a whole. There you have it, a look into F1's brand new review system. What do you think to it? Will it improve the decisions made in the future? Let us know in the comment section below.